Goedemorgen en welkom bij Vlogmusdag 16. Het is gewoon dag 16 al en dat betekent dat het zondag is. Laatste dag hier in Shanghai. Ja, ik, morgen ben ik er ook nog, maar dan vlieg ik terug. Dus dan is het een, uh, een uh, reisdag. Holy moly, wat, uh, wat een ervaring hier. En uh, ik moet je eerlijk zeggen, na zeven dagen ben ik ook wel helemaal gesloopt. Ik heb wel goed geslapen vannacht op zich. Kijk, hier dus zien jullie Nicky liggen. En die maak ze, ik maak altijd zo'n um, kussens heuvel. En dan doe ik net of dat Nicky is. En dan slaap ik wat beter. Maar de schoolmaakster haalt hem iedere ochtend weer weg. Zo. Dus het is stom. Maar ja, moet ik hem weer iedere keer opnieuw maken. Dat is niet zo heel erg. Ik ben moe. Uh, niet van dat ik te weinig geslapen heb, maar gewoon moe van deze ervaring. Um, maar ik heb wel heel erg veel zin in de laatste dag. Ik ben benieuwd wat het gaat brengen. Het is weer een andere dag dan de andere. Wel vandaag worden de winnaars bekend natuurlijk. Uh, ja, dus het wordt vanavond feest. Sowieso. Ik heb een Zandhoek shirtje aan. Mag ik vast niet aanhouden. Maar voor zo lang hou ik hem wel aan. Nu moet ik opschieten. Want we gaan met z'n allen naar een Chinees restaurant. En over vijf minuten moet ik in de lobby zijn. Dus ik ga gewoon mijn spullen inpakken. Oké, okay, we zitten dus in een typisch Chinees restaurant nu. We gaan naar binnen lopen. En er waren allemaal mensen. Uh, het kinderen. Super schattig op die kleine Aziatische kinderen. Echt zo schattig. En er stonden allemaal mensen. Of ja, koeks. Uh, dingen te snijden. En alles en ja, het is heel goed. Oh, is Poppy just explained us what this is. It's duck leg. Oh my god. Okay, I want to show you guys. This is an 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 no ice. No ice. One ice. What is this, Bobby? Uh, it's just like um, some vegetables. No, just. What is this there. kind of vegetable? Uh, let me check it for you, okay? Yeah. Oh, Dit witte is dus lotus wortel. Maar nou, deze kennen we. En wat? Black fungus. fungus. Black fungus. Oké. Okay. Dit is een schimmel. Oké, okay, dat eten we gewoon op. Pumpkin. Um, well, let me check the word, okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I don't know the Nederlandse woorden niet, maar it's like purple sweet potato and jam. It's really jam? Or yam. 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 I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you fixed it. This is maybe this is more. No, what's that called? Broccoli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. Okay. Chili. Chili. Yeah, what's chili? Chili. This one. Yeah. Oh, you are so. It's okay. Oh. Okay. Let's try that. That's the worst thing. You will. You will not taste anything after that. And I wasn't because my boyfriend tricked me. Oh! Because they have like a tradition. What is that? Yeah, it's a fish, obviously. What what kind of fish? Yellow fish. Yellow fish. Okay. Was it meat? Yeah, and and put some salt on it. Yeah. No, no. It's okay. It's just like um. Oh. Bobby, will you eat the head for for my vlog? Okay. Okay. Look. That's good. Yeah. Oh, is it good? Oh wow. Oh wow. Wait, wait, wait. You should put out the. The what? This one. You can't eat it. Yeah. So you put it in your mouth and then. Yeah. Put it out again. Yeah. Oh, I can't get. Oh, 
Boom! Yeah, it's okay. You're doing that after yeah. that? Yeah, that's, that's one. What? You should oh. take it. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. And this one you should take with this. This this is something like um, wasabi and salt salad sauce. Salad sauce. Okay? Yeah. And there will be a third one and you will just try this. It's like sweet sauce and we'll, you will package it in this and put something you like in it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Here it is. Okay. Oh, so this? Yeah. This and yeah. this oh, and this. Oh my god. This I'm going to film you, Charlene. <laughs> Yeah, 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 and put some jumping candy on it. <laughs> <laughs> you go for it, girl. Yeah, something like that. Uh, do you hear it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, put it in your mouth. You want to eat it? Is it good? Like it? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, you want some vegetables, just like carrots? Yeah. Carrot, okay. Yeah. And this is uh yeah, yeah you want it too. Corn. Okay. Just taste. Oh, it's for me? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, is over dit, deze meal. Jezus, wat een gekke dingen. Ik ben even blij dat de koffie ons meenam. Ik had dit echt nooit in Nederland uitgekozen zelf allemaal. Ik moet zeggen dat ik niet alles even lekker vond, maar ik heb wel genoten van de Chinese, van de Chinese keuken. De echte Chinese keuken. Nu gaan we weer naar het venue. Oké, okay, we gaan onze nagels laten doen. Ik heb ze al laten... Ja. Oh. Zo so mooi. Echt heel mooi. Roxy en ik zijn wat later vandaag naar de venue gegaan. Omdat we, ja, we altijd wel. We waren allebei. We staan echt zo boven elkaar. Allebei een beetje denken van ja. Weet je, we kunnen wel weer gaan oefenen. Maar het is weer een hele lange dag. Dus we hebben in plaats daarvan gewoon onze nagels even laten doen. En. Uh, nu zijn we er, het is nu hier half vier, dus nu hoeven we maar twee en een half uur te wachten. Nog steeds lang, maar uh, ja, ik kan wel een beetje oefenen. Maar lang, lang genoeg om, um, om nog in vorm te komen voor de games. Ik vond het wel even leuk om even te chillen en nagels te laten doen en zo. Het zijn echt super mooi gelukt. Echt, ja, je kunt het niet echt zien. Ik, misschien dat ik het later in de vlog nog laat zien, maar misschien vergeet ik het. Maar het is in ieder geval heel mooi voor kerst. Roze glitters, heel mooi. Sad stories, guys. Our probably last bubble tea of this trip. So you said they were like banned in Germany. I haven't even seen them in the Netherlands. Do we have this? Comment below if you know if we have bubble tea in the Netherlands because I have never seen it. Oké okay, jongens, we hebben een trofee. Ik wil hem echt even optillen. Als het kan, als het kan. Is het echt een trofee? Het is echt een trofee. 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 Het en het is weer etenstijd. Ik, uh, ik heb niet zo'n honger, want we hebben heel veel gegeten vanmiddag. Maar dit wordt het en ik ga uit met meat. Oh ja, you have meat. Roxy wants meat. Maar um, I'm gonna do it with chopsticks because it's like therapy for me to eat with chopsticks. Laten we maar even vloggen vandaag weer. Hè? Uh, we gaan bijna beginnen. Het is 5 voor 6. Dus uh, nog 5 minuutjes en dan beginnen we weer. Laatste dag. En ik hoop dat ik weer wat clips voorkomt, zodat ik die uh, hier kan toevoegen. Ja, we gaan zien waar ik ga eindigen naar vandaag. Vandaag, vandaag weten we het. Maar ik foto op haar, joh. zij gaat winnen. Zij gaat de hele toernooi winnen. Die beker gaat met ons mee naar huis, samen met haar. Maar ik vind dat het, dat het een beetje mij is, want we wonen vaak een uur van elkaar vandaan. Hey, hallo. Dat maakt ons basically neighbors. Yep.
does not have the lines of sight anymore as now a triangle of commotion will be erupting here. Karina on the west side of the road going to be holding off against Cal Patnam and Sunny, and they also have to be careful. The threat up to the north of Mathia as Karina with the M24 going to be spotting out Cal Patnam on the left side of the rock. Woo! One nicely placed shot going to be coming out, and down goes Cal Patnam to the bolt action sniper of Karina. What a hell of a shot coming in from Karina right there, taking it straight to the face, and there's just nothing you can do. Taking shots towards Terran, she sends it straight in the water, even makes it across with the vehicle. Hell, survived that one, almost a vehicle to her face and her teammate in Pittsburgh Knights. But now Terran, it's on the positive side of the water, I trying to take out Hilla. I love to see this right now. Terran said before the match has started today, screw it, I'm going to get in a Roni and I am going to absolutely Woo! send it. But she's not going to be able to continue on here in game number one. Or rather, she is going to be able to continue on here in game <laughs> number one with the M24 headshot. Oh, that's to such an extent that none of them can make the play. Circles pushing in just makes it even more cramped. It, was like, it ended up being what, like four players there? Yeah, they were all they were all just chaosing on top of each other. Yeah, yeah so exactly. like if, if I'm, my memory is correct, it was Karina versus uh, Sunny Eight at the beginning, mm. and then here comes Nona Mia, and then then Mathia ends up arriving there, but on the opposite side to help gatekeep all those players outside. Mm. Can is there any way that I guess the two players specifically in the very beginning of that engagement? Karina and Sunny8, is there any from their island? Look at the amount of players they have to run through, and Omiya will go down. Karina securing herself the kill, but again, no first aid. She still has the bike that she came in on before, but she will have to make this run forward, and there's a long way and a lot of people to run through down towards this circle. Yeah, this is incredibly significant for Karina right here. Just a few bandages to her name, as well as two adrenaline shots. Not necessarily the meta, or rather the, uh, the, the kit of meds that you mm. want to be rolling into this game with, but she does have three kills. The pain train continues on here from our player from Romania as she tries to do whatever she can to not just rack up those points but get those much needed placement points as well. She told me yesterday she found herself an AWM and did not dare using it because it only has 20 bullets and now she said you know what I'm just gonna take every shot I can today because I do not want to be the one to die with bullets that I could have spent and we saw it right there getting herself a third kill of the game playing it extremely well so far. Exactly. Well, it's looking like she's got names on those bullets here today as she is picking up kill after kill after kill. Dare and Yelena, despite the fact that she has a little tree or a little rock for cover from one opponent, will be widely exposed to the other. Karina continues to just zoom she's by not on scared. her vehicle. She's sending it. <laughs> no, she's going to full send it, and that's exactly what you need to do. We talked about how important <laughs> it is to get dead center as fast as possible, not trying to give your opponents opportunity to land those shots, but Yelena will be landing a few of those on top of Karina, but the return fire comes out from the bolt action sniper, but you have to worry. Both of these players mm. are very down on meds, only a few bandages to their name, and Mathia up here on the elevated position will be looking down. She heard the shots, but will she be able to spot the bodies? Looks like Karina did manage to run over and secure some mids off of one of the players that she killed earlier on, fortunately for her, because she would for sure has been, uh, have been dead here had she not had something to do with that. He does spot out Yelena. And there you go. Two taps to the back. Secures herself 10 points, and she will be able to proceed further in. But as you can see on the map, there's a long, long way to the circle. And now Karina has to make her way across that same path as Cece. I forgot to go to the vlog, but I was 27 in this game, and I had a kill. So as you can see, it's super cool. Clean to tap. I was echt super self-verzekerd aan het spelen. Wat echt heel chill was. Ik was ook bijna niet zo nerveus. Wel een klein beetje, maar niet zo erg als de eerste twee dagen. Dus dat was heel leuk. Hopelijk kan ik dit vasthouden. Dat ik niet het volgende clipje wat je van mij ziet hier. Oh, ik ben weer zes en veertig. Ik hoop echt dat het nog beter gaat worden. Ik heb er vertrouwen in. Spotting. Be it possible from Dupsy though over towards Tuma. We'll have to wait and see. But no, what I wanted to say earlier, the fact that we only have one person outside the first circle as the second one pops, crazy big change from the previous two days. Now, the majority of players were center and on the northeastern side of the previous circle. A lot of people will have to make these rotations in. We have Crory in play. We have the Riverland boot camp and also Paradise to block off some rotations. This is going to be tricky for everyone outside. Everyone outside, but once again, as expected, as we've seen over the course of centering up on our previous circle, Central Point, and Roxy going to be departing, realizing the blue damage is too much to take. She can't stall here any longer as Lizzie gets dropped down, gets the full med kit off, but also spots out Roxy's new position around the left side of the tree. Will be throwing out smokes to set the landscape for her own push into the circle as Roxy and Mathia both go down to the blue zone. We talked about the fact that there were only few 
real good entry points to this circle. This is why we see so many people die out in the blue. They try to make those long rotations around and get in the battle. Now, I'm not going to next time the next game. After the trap, I'm 23 to win, helaas geen kills. <laughs> it down here, and this is kind of the look at Sansen. Exactly, sending it full speed on ahead. She's so gonna, you know what? I want to go across, <laughs> and there you go, the backflip coming in as well. <laughs> Style points. If there were extra points to be given other than kills and placements, you know what? Give her a solid 20 points in the pocket. That's very, very well deserved. But she's got to be careful here because <laughs> she's gonna be running into Mapia. Oh, don't do it! Don't do no, it! Don't no. do it! Not Sansen, did you that. deserve this? You deserve this, Sansen. Don't do it. She's got to be ready. She's got to be prepared for it. We've seen this it. before. This we is have. Again. Matthew does this every you. single game to oh, get no. the circle. Oh, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. This has happened oh, so many times already. Please don't. Sanson, you don't, des you don't <laughs> deserve to go out like that. You do not deserve. You. Everything that screams competitive play just defied by that perfectly used backflip. No. Now she... My uh, nerves are on the outside of my skin. It just breaks my right heart now. Yeah, please don't Sansen die. Sansen was just getting <laughs> so frustrated with the fact that the circles never opened up in her. It's amazing how the patience lies like that. Because sometimes you get antsy and you want to get the kill. Also, it's interesting. Sansen does not want to loot that room. I mean, normally you'd clear the entire <laughs> compound, right? <laughs> Maybe there's a sixth sense thing. You know what? That's not going to happen. I would assume to see Matthew open the door eventually. She actually opens it. Oh, she reacts to it. Spots it. And... Oh, no. Oh, Sanson, what a unfortunate, sad, and, well, to some extent, undeserved way to go down. Yes, yeah, it truly is heartbreaking. <laughs> that, that was too far away to be towards me, right? That yeah. must mean there's someone else in the nearby area. But look at this, though. She is getting flanked. She spots her. Here it is. The spot should be coming in. <sighs> oh, my she God. She wants to get really close. Her? Do you not see her? There you go. Here spots comes. her. Oh, my God. Really changing up what our expectations of the scoreboard are going to mm -hmm. be. I don't know how much, though, because while Charlie did go out in 42nd, and we could talk about this over the highlights here, Sanson is <laughs> oh, the MVP play of across. the day of this entire event by that. <laughs> really glad we it. caught that. I'm really glad uh, that she was actually able to land that. But then, of course, did get taken out. <sighs> By the troll in the closet. <laughs> you hate to see it. It's you know, it's fair that we can say that because she's done this I, that we've seen on footage three separate times. This is the third time, and I'm, I can guarantee you that she's done it oh, yeah. 80% of the games. Maybe even all of them, let's be real. Yeah, this is when Charlie <laughs> goes out in 42nd place. That's probably the lowest we've seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weer een kill. Number 25. 25ste and a kill. I ben helemaal tevreden hoor, als ik dit blijf doen. Uh, ik zou wel ietsjes hoger willen, maar ja, uh, ik vond het super spannend. Zal ik die deur open doen in deze game? Ik weet het niet. Um, ik gebruikte het geluid van de plane. Ik dacht, dat maakt zoveel lawaai, dan kan ik wel nu aanvallen. En dat ging goed, gelukkig. Ik nam even een risico voor mijn doen, maar het werkte goed. Something different, but at the same time, I don't mind it going towards center as long as it goes a little west so that we can get the rivers in play because that makes the strategy behind the circles more fun to watch. Oof, I, uh... Mm -hmm. I disagree <laughs> with that. I kind of want to take the river out as quickly as possible. Yeah, but I like to watch it burn. Once again, we're going to see what happens in the battle zone. Round 14 is starting. Esquire and Garrett, take it away. And here we are, the penultimate match of the Zowie Davina Women's Invitational PUBG Tournament here in Shanghai, China. We've been working our way here across the better course of three days, and now... Garrett, it's all finally here. What type of performances are we going to see, and will it be enough to gain those placements on the leaderboards? Even though today has been rough for the top of the leaderboard, I would still assume that they're going to be consistent in their places and play safe and not try to take the early fights too often, besides maybe Majesty Charlie. But we see... <laughs> okay, I'm a bit bored, so as you can see, so I ging rijden en toeteren. En weet je, had goed af kunnen lopen alleen, geen het even niet lekker. Ik weet niet of het op stream is geweest al, sorry. Maar na 13 games ben ik er gewoon wel een beetje klaar mee of zo. En ik kan toch niks meer halen. Ik wil wel echt niet laatste worden, maar... Jezus, het is zo saai als je... Weet je, het is allemaal snake en camp en... Ja, ik ben gewoon een beetje klaar ermee, dus ik dacht, ik ga gewoon rijden. Hey, het is de laatste game, één de laatste game. Een beetje toeteren. Kan ook. Ik ga nog één game. Ik zal nog één keer mijn best doen. Een probleem voor Charlie als ze de rivier gaat. Zeker. Speaking about problems, Lizzie 
going to be lining herself up on the opposite side of the road of Mathia right now. Mathia has the SLR prepped and ready, but Lizzie is ready to shred through the armor of her opponent with that micro Uzi should their paths cross. Certainly close enough to where we can almost anticipate it happening. But for the meantime, continuing to watch these lines of sight out of the window, been, been able to test that knowledge yet. Yeah, it's fair to say they, they, they got to have the knowledge for exactly where they would like to go. But in the end, because you haven't been there so far in this tournament, maybe it's just you're not comfortable. You're not feeling how you would like to go in. You've been so comfortable with the northern part of this map that now you're in unfamiliar territory. Methia taking down Lizzie. But as I was saying, unfamiliar territory, and that's going to be the biggest threat to these top three players going forward because now they're in a position that they haven't been in so far in this tournament. Exactly right, as the blue zone now starts to shrink in. Finds the connection with the M416. And for every person that's getting eliminated now, Charlie is moving, is inching closer and closer to getting that top spot. All she needs to do is survive right now. Helen and Taryn are in the blue, eating the damage right now. Saki is playing nearby. We're going up into the quarry where Vendetta is taking a fight with Matthew. Mathia taking over that win there, but again, low on the HP, almost cratering on that drop. And here's the thing, Mathia needs to worry about that blue zone creeping up on her back as well. Majesty Charlie in a fight. Also, the shots continue to ring out around. What can do here in the final moments of game number five, but it is looking absolutely good for Majesty Charlie. Yeah, that's for sure. And you see Charlie doing some uncharacteristic things of actually running away from fights because, again, surviving is what matters right now. Is Gucci down? Oh, we didn't get to see it, but that sounded. Sorry, my voice there. I'm getting a little too excited. It sounded like an absolutely incredible shot. Matthew again taking out who was in the quarry earlier on in the round. My Pie taking some damage in the blue to May is still alive there. Kira playing the blue damage as well. It, it was what she would do in, in determining if she wanted to enter or not. That's a smart play to do as well. And again, if you're going to play a tight corner, there's no way to properly spot that unless you jump and peek over the windows. Yeah, absolutely well played by Miss Gucci in that setting. But Majesty Charlie, we've seen highlight after highlight from these replays. She was able to do so much here. And now we look at the setting for the final moments of this game. The Corey, such a tough area to maneuver around. To my, I want to give her props. I did kind of throw her under the bus. Oh, best game. Tot nu toe, echt beste game. Ik speelde super agressief. En gewoon tiende geworden met twee kills. Holy fuck. Maar het maakt helemaal niet uit wat ik allemaal heb gehaald. Volgens mij is het eerste, of ja, is de eerste geëindigd. Want ze is het hoogste geëindigd van de top 4 van. Dus ja, ik denk dat ze gewonnen heeft. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wat is dit? Yeah, she is like the best. She is like, yes. she should do more tournaments. Beat all the boys as well. You should, yeah, you should, you can beat the boys. I, I tried to, yeah. Where? <laughs> Majesty Charlie. Congratulations! Wow! Here she comes, the champion! Congratulations! Okay, please hold your trophy with your both of hands. It's very heavy. 
Ja, we zijn weer terug in het hotel. Charlie heeft gewonnen. Charlene heet ze trouwens, Charlene. Um, ja, super trots, super blij. Ik ben echt zo blij dat zij gewonnen heeft. Ja, voor mij ging de laatste game ook echt super goed. Dus ik ben echt met het tevreden gevoel, heb ik het toernooi afgesloten. Uh, nu is er een afterparty. Dus ik ga me even klaarmaken daarvoor. En dan gaan we dat zo uh, eens even bekijken, die afterparty. Ik had verder niet heel veel zin om mijn haar en zo te doen. En mijn make-up opnieuw te doen. Dus ik ga gewoon zo. Ik heb wel een leuke jurk aan. Dit is echt een van mijn lievelingsjurken die ik heb. Het is namelijk de jurk die ik aan had op de bruiloft van mijn broer. Ja. En dan deze hak eronder. Omdat ik niks anders bij me heb. Ja. Ik uh, vind het helemaal prima. Geen handtas. Dus ik moet alles in mijn hand houden. Echt super onhandig. Maar hé. Hey, het wordt toch maar een paar drankjes. En dan gaan we weer uh, terug naar de hotelkamer. We gaan even vieren dat Charlene heeft gewonnen. There is food, so I'm happy. And I got a Long Island something. I wanted to try that. And here is our champion. We drink on her tonight. Every every single sip is for her. <laughs> and this is where the area. En zo, en dan mogen we weer naar huis. Dank jullie wel voor het kijken naar al mijn Shanghai vlogs. Echt super, super leuk. Ik ben zo dankbaar voor dit avontuur. Voor deze ervaring. Ik heb echt vriendinnen gemaakt. Wat super bizar is, weet je wel. Dat je in zo'n korte tijd best wel close met mensen kan worden. En dat het dan ook vet, vet leuk is. En ik hoop echt dat ik die meiden nog vaak uh, zal zien. Want ze zijn echt zo, zo, zo leuk. Uh, ik ga... Er nu vandoor. Ik zie jullie weer terug als ik in Nederland ben, denk ik. Nee, ja, maar morgen begint mijn vlog gewoon in Shanghai. Maar de volgende vlog ben ik in ieder geval weer in Nederland. Dus daar heb ik nu al zin in. Dank jullie wel voor het kijken. Geef een duim omhoog. En ik zie jullie morgen. Doei!